Okay. Well, guys, we're going to do a spacey score on the second table out of the Jurassic Park series. But, of course, this is the original in terms we did Jurassic World, but this is Jurassic Park, of course, the original table. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I think the theme is going to really help it in relation to the first, uh, the first movie, if you like. So, yeah, let's hop into this and see how it plays. We had a bit of a mixed bag with Jurassic World. Let's see how Jurassic Park measures up. Land the ball in the nest. So they're electric, totally non-polluting, top of the line. Cool. Okay, so, well, it's nice actually that it just darkened the table there, because I was just about to say it looks a little flat, but that's actually got some nice shimmer and, and all the rest of it, which is cool. Land the so, ball in the nest. Oops, oh, I've got that skill shot. But yeah, when it's when it's here, it's sort of a little, a little flat. The lighting. What and, you got in there, King Kong? And quite sparse in the middle in terms of the artwork. Back the safe activated. Video mode. It's been a while since we've had a video. Uh, am I supposed to? Wait, what the boy? What the boy? What the... Three, two, eight, one. What? Okay. I don't know what I was supposed to be doing there, guys. <laughs> Nothing was happening with the buttons. I will obviously learn that, though. I'm sure. But it would have been nice if it actually said. Cool, we've got the raptors that are coming out here. No, it's funny, King John. Uh, just to be safe, I want everybody in the air to see that. Because we're being hunted. i get to the other side. The call outs. A little bit fragmented, but not terrible. Three, two, that was that was my fault, not not uh, completing that. Open the door on the tour. You know, guys, it's this sort of look and the way that the lights are flashing there. That's that's what Zen needs to have. Like, it's the main the main lights. It's like the lighting sort of just dies when it's uh, all lit up. Not completely. I'll be I'll be fair. going for that shot we are a, we are a little ping pongy guys on the ball for sure we don't quite have the weight that we should have tell you what would be nice for a little flipper on that left hand side pushing ten move in there i want tasers on full charge All away. captured, cool. And the ball in the nest. Hard to do without the plunger support. I remember. I'm approaching the Tyrannosaur paddock. I'm trying to get in this tour now. Four way combo. Mm. Land the hey, I thought in the I, nest. I thought I had a ball locked already. Didn't 
interesting. Just seeing how well I could get that out of orbit. Look at that. I love this mood. Oh man, the lights here shining like that. That's the essence of the lighting. If Zen did lighting like that for the main game, like that's, that's getting up there towards the tent. To endorse your park. So have I. <sighs> Alright. Alright. We we go again. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Hard ah, skill shot. Dinosaurs left their blueprint behind for us to find. We just had to know where to look. Some random call outs all happening on top of each other there, guys. Every time the ball comes down here, though, I want a flipper to be right there. <laughs> right there. Flip up the other side there. What do they got in there? King Kong? Quite a nice uh, sound effect on there. Yeah. Land the ball in the nest. Oh. Combo. A -way combo. Trying to get up into that tour, and I keep. Oh, that's not gonna. Help, Greg. Let's see if you can get in there. Oops. Not quite. Ball one locked. Hmm? Okay. Land the ball in the nest. Man, I've got to tap that so light. Okay. Give it back to me. Wow. Okay. You know, again, I don't, I don't mind it if it's less generous on the balls, you know. Land the ball in the nest. Ugh. Wow, I thought off that shot, I, I wouldn't be able to get that shot. Okay. That is just me. Video mode is lit. We've got another video mode lit. Again, I, I like the old video modes and out of our reviews so far, we haven't had many. Even though I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Nice. Metallic sounds may confuse the raptors. Ah, okay, cool. Oh, damn it! Oh, I got it back. Gotta hit these. Uh... Oh, wow! You know, I don't mind that at all. Hmm. Wow. After careful consideration, I decided... Okay, I'm, I'm going to do one more, guys. I felt felt like those two games were a little okay. short. I just want to get another little feel for this. Land the ball in the net. And not land the ball in the net. Did I get it back? Yes, I do. So the, the table sort of... Gl land the ball in the net. Growing on me. Intelligence, even problem solving intelligence. The driver for the electric propulsion top of the line. Those call outs are just so random. Ball two locked. Land the ball in the nest. Ah! 
That was me. That was me. Land the ball in the nest. <sighs> really don't like that. <laughs> ah. Ball three locked. Land the ball in the nest. to that very left hand side. Is that the pin there? Is that pin? Look at the goat. Wow. A difficult shot. It's... Yeah, there we go. Obviously didn't shoot it there though. And that was just too late on the end of it. Very risky. They've got to stop with that call out though. Those same call outs, whenever the ball's being launched, Zen needs to get rid of unless it's something really cool. Because it just like it just becomes a bit uh... Well change it up, you know, say something different. Have five different things that it's gonna say. I don't mind the no, 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 I'm trying to, trying to uh, nudge it. And that's it. After careful wow. I've decided okay. Park. Okay. So guys, we need to give this one a spacey score. I do go into these tables with sometimes with a you know a certain thought in my head about how it's going to go, uh, and each time these tables do tend to surprise me. And you know when you're playing in a cabinet, guys, it's just that whole thing, right? You just get a whole different feeling about the game as a pinball game. You know you're not sitting with the controllers, but I appreciate it. you can still play like that, and it's still cool, but. Yeah, when you're in the cabinet, it really comes together in some ways. And this was a table that grew on me. Um, not saying it's super, super awesome. I'm just saying it grew on me because I was a little concerned on the way in. All right, so theme. Uh, yep, look, it's, it's good. It's captured the original Jurassic Park well. Uh, the, the sound's really nice. I sort of always go back to the Data East Jurassic Park so I love that one, I love the sound and everything they put in there although they've got some cheesy um, bassy type notes that they did back then um, whereas this is not, this is more polished uh, but yeah, the overall theme uh, is done well it just is let down a little bit actually with some of the other elements that come in like the random call outs the, the, the music could have a little bit more Especially at the end of the game, which is, I think, again, on the Data East one, it's quite a nice thing right at the end to have that uplifting music. But anyway, so I think because, um, it's good. Uh, it's not awesome, though, and I was going to say 7, but I think that'd be a bit harsh. I'm going to give it an 8. The atmosphere. The atmosphere is good. Got the... Um, uh, you've got the dinosaur noises coming in there. It's some good sound effects in there as well. That sort of helps with the atmosphere and the music softly in the background. The general look of the table's good. Such a shame they didn't use that night lighting as part of the main main play. Um, but yeah, so I think the atmosphere is good. It could be a little better, but it's probably... Probably an eight for atmosphere. It's still got one, it's still right in there, it's on pocket, guys. So the layout realism, um, 
how it translates to a table yeah it's a little bit a little bit one-dimensional well that's not too bad though there's some some interesting shots in there um it's not my all-time favorite layout it's reasonable i'm going to give it an eight the now we're on to the, the actual table artwork itself and um it's good except for that's very empty in the middle here well i know that's sort of like you know you want to see the, the main logo and everything but it's a little bit devoid and let's put the blank through there it's got some nice surrounding areas i like the dinosaurs and stuff and the rock around the bottom so yeah it's not right up there but it's probably a seven uh, the animations, animations are good, especially with the dinosaurs and, and, you know, getting in close to those dinosaurs, they all look pretty good. And the main T-Rex up here is pretty awesome, even in cabinet mode. And of course you've got the little car coming across and stuff, which we didn't even get to that mode actually. Um, so yeah, there was quite a, there's quite a bit in there and it's pretty good, so... And it's, you know, it's, it's appropriate for the game too, so I'm going to give it an 8 actually. Uh, graphical effects, uh, yeah, there were some, but I don't think there was a huge amount, right? Didn't really think there was a huge amount there. I think we're sort of mid-range again on this table for actual effects on top of everything else. Nice lighting change, but we'll, we'll cater to that in the lighting. So the actual effects, I think, is about a five. It's mid-range, guys. Um, so, yeah, so the lighting. So... The lighting, if it just stayed like this, is actually not that great. And so, to me, it's a six when it's like that. But because it does that little nightshade thing and then all the all the inserts are lighting up and all that, it's got that extra bit in there, but it's not, it's not part of the gameplay. So I'll bump it to seven, but they missed a trick there with the lighting guys. It's a shame. This this sort of thing would be much more grungier or just going in between them while you're playing it would have been awesome All right, the DMD well the DMD as we saw I had um, uh, First time at actual little game to play in there But I don't know what the hell I was doing and none of the buttons were working it didn't tell it didn't say what it was But it, it's obviously got different modes in there to to play that's cool. And so there's been some good thought in that um, The DNA strand dude sure it's all part of the theme um, it's reasonable. It's again nineties. It's uh, it's a seven. It's a seven for me for the DMD guys. Uh, music. Well, yeah, it's it's good, but it just doesn't quite have that sort of volume to it. But somewhat ironic actually because it's sort of a little too, just a little too soft doesn't really get dynamic with the table again guys we've talked about this so many times but um yeah i think the music is is sitting around it's still good though i was gonna say seven but i think that's that's not right it needs to be an eight it's still good uh, again sound effects are, are good and i think do help what's going on with the table uh, yeah, they all, all sound really, really nice actually. The sound effects were very good, so I'm going to give that an action. I'm going to give that an 8. The call outs, though, guys, the call outs on this are shocking. Um, except for the end one about not endorsing the park, which is a nice one to, to finish off with. But everything else in terms of call outs, guys, is horrible and. Um, it's a bunch of random things coming together. It's a shame. So it's going to get a four on the call out. The flow was generally pretty good. Uh, no problems with the flow. Uh, I think from that point of view, it does deserve an eight. There wasn't really any brick shots or anything. It flowed nice. Again, it's a shame the layout didn't have that extra flipper on the left hand side. Um, the shot interest was, yeah, relatively low. Um, didn't feel like there was a huge amount to do in there, guys. So, yeah, shot interest. It's still, yeah, like I said, the table sort of grew on me. But it didn't feel like there was, like, mega things to, to get on with and get done. So I think the shot interest is about a six, to be honest. 
A challenge, yes. I felt I was getting more and more into the game as we progressed. Uh, so the challenge felt okay. Worked up a little bit of a sweat, in fact. Um, but because of some of the other elements, and again, the physics always let the challenge down if it's not right up there. Um, I think the challenge on this is a six. Uh, physics feel. Yep, so this is down from the newer tables. It's just unfortunate. This table would again really, it would just play so much nicer. Uh, feel much more like a pinball table if it just had a heavier ball. So, is it a seven or a six? It's not as ping pongy as some of the other tables have been, guys. I think we'll, we'll put it at a seven. It might be a slightly generous seven. The fun factor, mm, that's a hard one actually. It was a little bit devoid of fun. Um, yeah, I didn't really, didn't, I wasn't certainly, you know, I didn't even have a big smile on my face or anything. I was getting a little bit into the, the challenge of it and that side of it. So the fun factor is not huge. I'm going to give it a five on the fun factor. Replayability. I think this has got something to come back to and I think going through some of the other modes and getting getting more of the table scene uh, deserves to come back and I don't think you'd be disappointed in doing it. Those call outs are going to get annoying. Um, that's the only thing when you do come back. And again, if the physics were that much better, it would be higher. But for the moment, I think the replayability is about a seven. And Spacey's X Factor, well, it sort of does all those other things really well for a Jurassic Park table. It doesn't jump out at me as having a huge X factor as such. If anything, it's quite a nice package as, you know, just as an entirety of everything that does come together. Um, you know, the T-Rex is, is awesome and it does, it does come together. And so from that point of view, look, I'm just going to bump it one but that's all I think it deserves from an X Factor guy. So that gives us a spacey score. And it'll be interesting to see where this one measures up. But yeah, an interesting table. Um, as I said, the replayability was up there enough to come back to it. So again, interested in your thoughts, guys, on this table. It is one that's been out for a while. And was interesting again to replay it in a cabinet mode. Okay, well off we go and we continue through all the tables. I've still got a lot to get through guys. And so looking forward to the next one. Please like and subscribe and comment and all that good stuff. And uh, look forward to seeing you soon for the next table of the Zen Originals and License tables. Until then guys, ciao for now.